A lot of people who are coming to Moab have maybe never been in a desert before, and they don't realize how alive deserts can be. Don't think of this as an empty wasteland with a lot of rocks. Think of this as a living place, as an incredible and fragile and beautiful ecosystem that you can be a part of protecting. In between plants, there's these open spaces, and those open spaces get filled up by biological soil crusts. Soil crust is this incredible glue that really binds the soil particles in place, and so it can wrap itself around all of the sand and soil grains that we have in the desert, and it really holds this whole ecosystem together. And I love so many things about biocrust, and I love that amidst this really large landscape, there's these small but incredibly important colorful little communities that are just right at the soil surface that you can get down and look at. These biocrusts, they're mostly made up of cyanobacteria. And these cyanobacteria create the foundation of these communities. And a lot of times they can be dark in color. And that color, that's actually sunscreen that the biocrusts are making to protect themselves from the desert UV radiation. And then over time, that cyanobacteria creates a stable platform for other organisms to come in. And those grow and develop together. And over time, they kind of heave up into these beautiful, colorful, dark pinnacles that you see in intact biocrust areas around the desert. A lot of people don't know that biocrusts are these ancient assemblages, and we get them here in deserts because there's just not enough rain for there to be a continuous covering of plants. The desert is a really amazing place. The things living here can withstand a lot of different extremes, but what they can't really withstand is compression. I like to like tell people it's similar to a meringue, and I use that to illustrate this point, that if you step on a meringue and crush it, that's what happens to biocrust. The whole structure gets destroyed. So if you're a UTVer or a hiker or a mountain biker, you come here and you want to be on that beautiful single track, you know, going out into the desert surrounded by these beautiful desert landscapes. But what happens with any of those sports is when you start going off the trail, you can create these webs, these networks of trails because the desert around you is getting trampled. And it really creates an ugly landscape and it's not how we care for this place. So when you visit Moab, practice those leave no trace principles and really engage in being a steward of this place so we can all continue enjoying Moab for years to come.